Hey there tech fans, Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily add an external monitor to any laptop by using a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Now over the years, laptop manufacturers have consistently delivered products that are smaller, thinner, and much more portable. But in doing so, they've been forced to eliminate a lot of the external connections that you would have found on a laptop even a few short years ago. Things like a dedicated VGA connection or HDMI connection so you could hook up a monitor, maybe a dedicated power port that you could use to charge and operate the laptop, things like memory card readers, or even a collection of USB-A and USB-C ports have really been shrunk down to only give you a small collection of external connections. So for example, on this laptop, which I use pretty much every day, I've got a USB-A connection on this end, which is the older style, and two USB-C connections on this end. And those are the only connections I can use for external peripherals or audio components or microphones or keyboards. I'm really limited on what I can do. So I needed a way to be able to connect an external monitor when I'm presenting to clients or when I'm home working at my desk. I just like to have a little bit more screen real estate. And that's exactly what these products were designed to do. They can convert USB-C, or in this case USB-A, into a signal that you can use with the standard HDMI monitor. And they work wonderfully, and they're really easy to use. So what I'd like to do with this video is first explain the different options available for this USB-C to HDMI conversion, and then I'll do a short demonstration to show you just how simple these products are to use. And then I'll come back one more time and remind you of a few things you'll need to look for if you're searching for a USB-C to HDMI adapter. So normally these products fall into one of two categories. They're either a dedicated USB-C to HDMI, or they're what's called a hub. So you've got one single USB-C connection which plugs into your laptop, and you've got a collection of ports on the end. So this one actually expands that single USB-C into two more USB-As, an HDMI, which you can use to connect up your monitor, and then there's another port over here that's a USB-C in, because with this laptop, one of my USB-C ports is how I charge the laptop. So the minute I plug this in, I'm losing one of those ports to charge the laptop. So this allows me to plug this into the laptop and plug my charger in there. The power will flow through this component and actually charge my laptop while providing power for the external port. So the hub gives you a bigger expansion, if you will, of that port to do things like connect up USB-A products or connect up a monitor. The challenge with the hub is that it limits the uh, number of monitors you can actually connect up to the laptop. The other style is a dedicated USB-C or USB-A to HDMI. Now this particular model actually allows you to expand one port into two separate HDMI connections. And the nice part about having two connections is that I can spread my desktop, I can increase the screen real estate between the monitor internally and the two external monitors at the same time. And that is incredibly beneficial if you're working on a lot of different projects at the same time. So you can have a spreadsheet open, you might have email going, you might have a web page up where you're looking up some details. All of those can be spread among three or four monitors, in this case, three monitors, to give you a lot of real estate to sort of analyze and compare things across those monitors. With this one, it's a single external monitor, but that still allows you to share that desktop between the external and the internal. And again, this one gives you a lot more connections. The other advantage to a dedicated product is you tend to get higher resolution. Typically a single connection will probably be a 1080p connection, or if it's a 4K, it's probably 30 hertz. With a dual connector like this, you're probably gonna find 4K in both of the ports, or at least one of the ports, 4K at 60, and the other one 1080p. But again, this, this product market, this category, is rapidly advancing. So you're gonna start seeing products that connect more monitors up or connections that are higher resolutions and higher speeds. But again, the difference between them is a hub typically has multiple connections in addition to the HDMI and a converter typically has just a USB-C or USB-A to HDMI. But both of these work really well if you're looking to increase the screen real estate from the single display inside your laptop to external displays and sometimes even multiple external displays. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll show you just how simple these products are to use. They really are plug and play with most operating systems out there. You'll essentially plug it into your laptop, plug your monitor into the unit, whether it's the converter or it's the hub, and you'll see your desktop on that monitor immediately. And then you can control, do you wanna mirror it? Do you wanna spread it across multiple screens? All that's controlled from inside the laptop. So stay tuned for that. And then I'll come back at the end and I'll talk about a few things you'll wanna look for if you're in the market, again, for a hub or for the adapter. Now I'll do a short demonstration to show you how you can use a USB-C to HDMI adapter to easily connect an external monitor up to your laptop or even your home computer. In front of me, I have a laptop that I use every week, 
and have two versions of the USB-C to HDMI adapter. The hub, which has a single HDMI output and two USB-A connections as well as a PD input for charging the laptop, and I've got a dual output version over here. I'll start with the hub. And essentially, it's a very simple operation. It's plug and play. You're going to plug this connection into any available USB-C port on your laptop. I have one over here on the side. And the minute I do that, the unit itself will recognize the fact that I've got an external peripheral connected, and I'm all ready to go. All I have to do then is connect that HDMI cable from the monitor to the HDMI output on the hub. The computer recognizes that, and in a second, you'll see the image come up. Now, what's interesting about this is right now I'm mirroring my desktop, but I could easily change that on my laptop to extend my desktop between the screen here and the screen there, which essentially doubles my real estate for opening programs and doing other things with applications. Now I've got the dual connection over here. So let me disconnect this one. And again, it's the same operation. It's a standard USB-C connection right here, which will plug into that same USB-C port. And the nice part about this unit is that I actually have a dual connection externally that allows me to connect two monitors at the same time. So I'll connect the HDMI port to one of the outputs and the other HDMI cable to the other HDMI output. And both of these monitors will come on and right now they're mirroring my desktop. Now this unit has a 4K output and a 1080p output so I can use different monitors with different resolutions. But there you go, that's a mirroring of my desktop right now. And again, the benefit of this is I can easily extend my desktop between these three monitors and triple the screen real estate, which makes it incredibly easy when I'm home working on projects that have multiple applications open. I can easily be looking at a web page, typing up an email, checking specifications in a document, and I can spread those out among the three monitors. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope that demonstration was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind if you're searching for a USB-C to HDMI adapter. The first has to do with resolution. A lot of the products on the market today fully support a 1080p signal, but you may need to have a higher resolution if you're playing games in your laptop or you're streaming high definition content. So the first thing you want to look for is the resolution that the adapter, or in this case, the hub can support. Again, 1080p is very common. 4K is fairly common at 30 frames a second. 4K at 60 frames is something that's emerging lately in a lot of the newer products. So just try and find an adapter or a hub that gives you the highest resolution possible so you can enjoy your content at that higher resolution. Another key consideration is, can you charge through the adapter? So for example, this adapter doesn't have a USB-C port on it. So it's essentially plugging in to one of my USB-C ports and then splitting it to two HDMI external connections. And that's wonderful to spread my screen real estate among three monitors, but I can't charge my laptop through that port at the same time. So I'm essentially dedicating one of my USB-C ports to my external monitors. This one, on the other hand, this hub, allows me to use one of those USB-C ports and have my monitor connected, two USB-A peripherals connected, as well as an external charger connected. So this allows me to charge through the device, keep my laptop fully charged when I'm operating it, and still have my external monitor connected. But again, the trade-off is higher resolution, lower resolution, but charging through the device. One other consideration that may seem like a small thing, but it's fairly important, is the connection from this to the actual laptop. A lot of these products have a removable cable right here that you can use a longer cable. And that may seem like a good thing, but honestly, you're only extending that connection a short distance and you're gonna be able to make most of your connections directly to the device. So I don't think it's that big a deal whether that connection comes off or it's dedicated like both of these are. I tend to prefer the ones that are actually integrated into the unit because they're heavy duty, they're incredibly flexible. And in this case, I've actually got an adapter on the end that I can use the USB-A if I have an open USB-A port or I have an adapter on here that'll convert it from USB-A to USB-C, which allows me to use any port available on the laptop. This one has a dedicated USB-C, but again, a very, very flexible cable, very high durability, and these are just great to take with you in the field. Now, the third category that I haven't really discussed is a larger hub that you would use at home. And that's not really a portable device like these are. These are more designed to be with you on the road. So if you've got a laptop and you have to present to a client and they've got a large widescreen monitor with an HDMI connection, you can plug this into your laptop, connect up to their monitor and start presenting. You can use them at home as well, but the home hubs typically are larger with a lot more connections, maybe even an internal power supply that typically connect up through one USB port, USB-C port, and then allow you to expand to multiple monitors from there. But as far as portability goes, I use these in the road and I use them at home as well. So I find them to be very, very beneficial. And that's pretty much all I had today. So I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, thanks for watching.